Sandy, welcome to the program. Thank you. And what is your job? I'm a 911 operator for Pinellas County. How long have you been a 911 operator? Almost 15 years. When is it okay to call 911? Um, whenever it's a life-threatening emergency. Um, if it's a uh, robbery, um, you need medical attention, or if there's a fire. What is the first question you ask? 911, what is your emergency, is the first question that we ask. Um, at that point, then we'll ask you to verify um, address information, depending on whether you call on a cell phone or your home phone um, is the information that we have available to us um, on our equipment at the center. Uh, a large portion of our call volume at 911 is cell phones, on cell phones. We don't get an actual physical address when you call in on your, your cell phone. We rely on um, GPS. We have to try and map you. It's not 100%. So if you're calling in on a cell phone, um, we don't know exactly where you are. You have to be able to give us at least the closest cross streets. What else do you want our viewers to know about 911? Teaching children how to call 911, when and when not to call 911, is very important. Um, to know what an emergency is and what not, what is not an emergency, is very important. Also, the use of cell phones. Uh, a large portion of our call volume at 911 is cell phones, on cell phones. Knowing the address or the location of where the emergency at is very important um, so we can get the help there as quickly as we can, uh, be that an adult or a child. What does a person need to know when they call 911? What is and what is not an emergency? Um, something that's in progress, a life-threatening in-progress emergency, um, you know, somebody needs medical attention. There's a fire at your house or at a neighbor's house. Uh, you're witnessing a robbery, um, a domestic situation, something you need somebody to respond, lights and sirens, right now is what 911's for. Not for your purse was stolen last week, your neighbor's stereo is too loud, um, you need to check on something that happened a month ago, um, you know, situations like that. That's something that you want to call the police department directly on a non-emergency line. Well, our time is up for today. Thank you for helping us out with 911. You're welcome.